What's up YouTube? This is Demkeys back again with another Unity tutorial and today I'm going to show you three ways to ignore 2D collisions. So what we have in our scene here is a main camera and a point light. What I'm going to do is add a quad and make a duplicate of it. Now quads come with mesh colliders. We don't need that. We need box colliders. So I'm going to remove the mesh colliders on both these objects and add box collider 2d and also I need to rename each I'll call this my box and this one my box 2 the next thing we need to do is change their position I'm going to position each one making sure that uh, it is within well both the objects are within the camera's frustrum because we want it to be shown in our game let's see if I can zoom in a little bit yeah that's fine alright now in order to have collision take place we one of the objects needs to have a rigid body 2d component attached to it so I'm going to attach that to my box and next let's add a script to my box before continuing change the gravity scale to zero so that when you play the game the object doesn't fall down now add a new script call this move script 02 you can name it whatever you want open this up in mono develop alright here we are going to add some simple lines of code to make our object move the first thing we need to do is add a public float variable which is going to be the move speed of our object. Next float h this will be to uh, check the input from the user to, to check whether uh, just a minute yeah to check whether uh, the a or d key or left or right arrow keys are being pressed and depending on what the value is, the, the value will be anywhere between negative 1 and positive 1 uh, and that will be multiplied by move speed. Next rigid body 2d dot add force new vector 2 h on the x axis and 0 on y and now let's just quickly test if this works. I'm going to use a force of say 30. Run the game. It's not working. Okay. I misspelled horizontal. Now just correct the spelling and save the script and run the game. Alright, so you can see our object is moving and the collision is actually taking place now let's work on ignoring the collision so the first method would be to use physics 2d dot ignore collision for that I'm going to add I'm going to create an empty game object sorry this should not be a child just an empty game object call it whatever you want I'm gonna call it scripts and I'll add a new script to it let's say ignore call you can name it whatever you want alright the first thing we're gonna do is create two game objects which will be uh, public game objects uh, what to call it box one and the same thing for the next but box 2 in that case then within the update function you type physics 2d dot ignore collision and then you have two overload functions one is sorry and then you you can see the parameters over here uh, you can either enter two 
collider 2D objects or enter two collider 2D objects and also specify whether the collision should be ignored or not. I'm going to go with the first one. So that will be box one dot collider 2D. And the second parameter would be box two dot collider 2D. Now let's test if this works. This is not going to work right now because I have not uh, specified which two objects are box one and box two. So drag my box to box one and box uh, and my box two to box two. Hit play. And as you can see, there's no collision taking place now. You can also specify over here, um, you don't need to type bool ignore, you can just type true or false. So let's say ignore collision false. and now the collision is not being ignored. So if you don't specify true or false over here, by default, it is true. The next method would be to use um, the layer collision matrix. The layer collision matrix handles collision between objects of certain layers. So let me show you how to access the layer collision matrix. You click edit, project settings physics 2d if it's a 3d game then you just click physics but in this case it's 2d so we click physics 2d and then you have the collision matrix over here it says layer collision matrix these are the layers that we currently have we haven't added our own layers yet once we add our own layers then we're going to see those layers show up over here as well so let's add two new layers you click here layers and click edit layers and then in user layer 8 you can add um, let's just go with box layer or uh, let's say box 1 layer and box 2 layer alright so these are our two layers now we go back to the collision matrix and we can see our two layers show up over here all right so by default this for some reason in my case has been unchecked box layer one will not collide with box layer two so let's test this out go to the scripts object and disable this script and assign the layers that we created to our objects so assign box one layer to my box and box 2 layer to my box 2. Okay, I'm going to show you uh, a method that makes it easier to have the collision matrix open in front of you at all times. What you do is right click on inspector, click add tab and add another inspector. So you have two inspector tabs now. Let's place one inspector tab here and let's lock this up or no. Let's lock this and is this unlocked or locked? okay so this is locked and we have our collision matrix over here it's a little small so you cannot see the names properly maybe I should place it here physics 2d and lock this okay so now you have two inspectors one is here and one is here this one is locked so it's not going to change from this and when you select any other object this changes all right so as you can see box layer a uh, box two layer is not supposed to collide with box one layer because this has already been unchecked and uh, before you test this out just go back and make sure your ignore call script is already disabled because 
otherwise the experiment is not gonna work probably not gonna work now based on this setting these two objects should not collide let's test that theory out as you can see the collision doesn't take place now let's enable or let's check this box and run the game and as you can see the collision takes place this gives you a slight idea of how the collision matrix works you can also have no collisions between objects of uh, objects that contain this box one layer so box one layer here and box one layer here basically two objects with box one layer are not gonna collide let's test that theory out you select my box two and change its layer to box one layer now when you run the game the objects don't collide if you check this box again and run the game collision takes place all right now go back and change my box 2's layer to box 2 layer and next i'm going and next i'm going to show you how to do pretty much the same thing but through code so we click on our scripts object click add component new scripts and call this uh, ignore layer call you can name this whatever you want open this up in mono develop uh, the only variable we need over here is uh, a public bool so we can control the the collision or layer based collision just call this call or not physics 2d dot ignore layer collision as you can see just like ignore collision we have the same parameters here only in this case these two are ints and then you have a bool now what do these ints mean all right if you take a look at your uh, layers to do that click on edit project settings tags and layers that's going to open up over here so just you know try not to get confused now you'll notice this list of layers you have built-in layers from 0 to 7 and then from 8 onwards user layers start so this is where these are the layers that you can uh, actually enter you can create your own layers in these spaces so we have our layers in user layer 8 and user layer 9 so in this case we need to enter 8 as the first parameter and 9 as the second parameter and then color or not and then call or not as the third parameter which is the bool uh, initially we are going to set this to false save the script and before running the game select the scripts object so that you you can see ignore layer call over here and you have call or not over here now run the game and try and move these objects you can see the collision is taking place that is because ignore collision has been set to false notice what happens when I check this box keep looking at this collision matrix you can see the change occurs instantly and at that point if I try and collide the collision doesn't work I can disable it and then the collision works also the change has been made to the 
layer collision matrix as well. So these are three ways that you can use to ignore 2D collisions. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Do check out these other videos as well. The video on the top left teaches you how to use the line renderer. The video on the top right teaches you how to use lens flares. And on the bottom left is the playlist for the Unity 4.6 UI Tools series. I'm also accepting donations. So if you would like to help me out, you can send your donations to my PayPal email address, which is mentioned on the screen and in the description down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Leave your comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. This is what they say. Started out with nothing, then I turned myself to something. Everybody wanna claim a nigga when they hear you buzzing. Don't nobody wanna claim you when they hear you bugging. Not known to tell stories, not known for fronting.